Uh, I'll be honest, Scotty, no one likes a king. Declan, you know the 8 billion people that live in the world well, do you? They liked him well enough to give him a wonderful mm. coronation. So you're saying Rangers singing sectarian songs, okay. That is embarrassing. No, Cardon, there should be no sectarian songs. But the songs that the uh, Celtic supporters were singing was not sectarian. They were just downright low-life route. Nothing sectarian, just downright low-life, disrespectful route. Why on earth... You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's happening, Big Pal. Hello, Big Pal. Who's that? What's it? Don't worry about it, lad. I've got a question for you. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Monarchy? Wait a minute. We can't oh, do hi. any questions hi. till we get a first name. What do we call you? Uh, my name is Bobby, mate. Bobby. Right, mate. What can yes, I do man. for you, Bobby? Why do you think the monarchy actually brings value to the United Kingdom? Yes, they bring money in from tourism, but how does that affect a quote-unquote average person's day-to-day -day life? Well, it adds to the exchequer, and hopefully we can claw back, although the present mob politically are quite greedy. Yeah, but you're saying hopefully we can claw back. But my question was, right now, how are the monarchy actually bringing value to the United Kingdom? Well, I think it was last year they brought in two billion pounds and cost us okay, 167 has, has that affected million. the average day-to-day -day person? Yes, yes, it will, it will, it will have. Well, it will have, except, I mean, the point I'm making is the monarchy are pretty well very low cost. Okay, so but why are they? The so why? Them, well, know, why are, part of the Kingdom, Well, because they provide the stability and continuity. They bring stability to what, though? To the, the country. The economy in the United Kingdom has no stability. Well, yes, it actually has got stability compared with us. Gas and if, electricity has went up by four hundred percent. Yes, inflation but has all of yeah, but listen, listen, high. listen, steady. What, the, no, 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 wait a minute. Monarchy, you know, steady, what are they steady. You're not listening. <clears throat> this is political. This has nothing to do with the monarchy. The monarchy. My question was the monarchy. The monarchy, the monarchy is a sideshow in that. Yeah. So it's politics you're discussing, not the monarchy. Now, if you want to discuss why are we in so the mess, so you telling me the monarchy are not involved with politics? Then? No, no, certainly not. The monarchy are apolitical. To have a political conversation, there's no, nothing wrong with bringing in the monarch, the monarchy. The no, monarchy but what I'm saying is, as long as you make the differentiation the that you're on, ostensibly giving the impression that you are not for the monarchy, <coughs> yeah, but you're having right, a political what, what discussion you, you that's nothing to do with the monarchy. You have to repeat that one more Sorry, time. Sorry, you're Fair giving you're sense. giving the impression that you're not pro-monarchy. I have no reason to be pro-monarchy when they bring no value to our country. Well, they bring huge value to our countries. Four countries. They bring nothing to our country. No, no, no. This is where you're wrong. The Two billion for a start. The tourism budget, which is not all the monarchy in fairness, 210 billion. Okay, the coronation, the coronation, one hundred million, bring in billions. It probably paid for itself several times over already. So how is how is that affecting us, the day to day people of this country? Well, the day to day people of this country, without a monarchy, would just have total dullness and no sense of hope. How the monarchy don't bring hope. They yes, of course they bring anything. hope. They they're, bring, they're, they bring, they're your they bring, only they hope. They bring money that goes back to them, but it doesn't go to the people of the country. It does go to the people of the country. It goes to the exchequer. I I mean, we can agree to disagree. No, 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 no. We can't agree to disagree. Cannot. No, we can't agree to disagree. The fact is it goes to the exchequer. It goes it's, to the what? To the exchequer. To the treasury. The exchequer? The exchequer, Yes. You mind repeating yourself? You're lagging. Do you know, you know what? Do you know what you the exchequer is? The treasury, HM Treasury. Okay, right. Carry on. Right. So the money goes there. Okay.
Okay. But so how then, are you not bringing any value? Well, it's then up to the politicians. Now, if you look at the political setup for a second, two hundred and fifty billion pounds wasted on Brexit. hundred and fifty billion pounds wasted on the pandemic. Seventy million wasted on seventy-five. 75 billion wasted in the short time that we had a certain prime minister in. So yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're carping about a packet of crisps. That's what the monarchy are doing for you. Wait, what about a packet of crisps? That's the cost to you of the monarchy. What, a packet of crisps? Just under a packet of crisps. Giant bag. He's salted. He's under a packet of crisps. Yeah, that's what the monarchy costs you per annum. Really? What about that now, you see? I love smashing that. Well, I think you need to start looking into this because, you know, you're not a silly fellow. I don't, I don't need to look into it. It oh, doesn't concern do. me. I'm, well, it does concern you because you're on money it, and whinging. It does, What's it doing for you? It doesn't you? concern me. I'll, I'll have my opinions about my... Well, no, you can have as many opinions, opinions, but if you're asking me, I will always give you the facts. You're very welcome to your opinions, but you'll always get the facts. That's the whole point of ringing Scotty McClure. I mean, you know... I would have to check the facts for myself. You check the these up, a, a yes. I wouldn't tell you. Up, I wouldn't tell you anything that wasn't hundred percent true. You yeah, check out I don't the know videos. You, so I can't really well, check out the something. videos and get to know me. Eh? Check out the videos and get to know me. I, I don't know if your videos are true or not. But, well, of course you know, they are. Why would I? 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 Why would I make a video that's not true? What would be the point? I mean, that? well, that's like saying every video on social media is true. No, it, it, my not. videos every, are true. There's a lot of things that are false. Yeah, but false my, my, mine are not. So that's how social media works. Yeah, but my stuff is not false. Okay, but I'm saying that as I don't know you, I don't know if your stuff well, is true or not. You get, to the, you get on to TikTok and YouTube and have a good old look. If I was going to research something, I wouldn't do it off of TikTok or YouTube. because No, but you should do it from Scotty McClure because I've done all the research for you over the last 50 years. Over the last 50 years? Yes. 50 years of bloody, international affairs. Bloody hell. Yeah. That's a, that's a long time. That's a long time. And then, why? so why would I tell you anything that wasn't true? I don't know, mate, but I don't know you, do I? So, well, well, you know, you've got to keep your guard up out here. I, I don't know then. you, but I know I wouldn't tell you a lie. I don't know you, mate, so I can't assume that. Can and I? two two billion people would back me up. You said two billion people would back you two up? Two billion people would back me up. <sighs> Jesus, you've got that many vouchers for you. Yep. Two billion people uh, know Scotland. Okay. At, at least you're for Scotland, Scotland independence. Oh, like yes, that, but, that but some, under the crown. Under the crown. Yeah. Independence under the crown, that's what you want. Don't fall for any of that <laughs> republic nonsense. <laughs> well, that just wouldn't happen, though. I'm well, no, well, then it wouldn't happen at all. Because I'm telling you now, if you try and go for independence and ignore the monarchy, it just won't happen. It'll go into the long grass. Do you, do you realise what the percentage was in the last referendum Scotland had for independence? And that was before we left the European Union. Yeah. Do you realise how close we were to getting it? I do, of course I do. I was Union. part of it. Listen, we're on 58% right now. If we, if we have a referendum right now for independence, we will get it. 58%, you would actually, but only under the crown. You won't get it for a republic because you've lost half your vote. No, we, we would still get it. No, you wouldn't. Republic. No, trust uh, me, you wouldn't. With I'm what no, 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 so. no. Never mind Westminster. This is the crown we're talking. The second you mention republic, 50% of your voters disappear. Are you sure about that? I'm telling you right now. As sure as eggs where, as where, can, where can I check this information? You can just go and check it right now. Don't say your TikTok page. Well, you can check.